I suppose your journey with Whitburn started when your son joined the band in 2002. Can you remember the first time you heard Whitburn band play? Yes, I remember it well. Uh, both Robert and my other son Graham were both members of the local band and we got offered tickets to go and see this big band that the chap had said. He said you'll love them, the boys will love it. So we went off to the Queen's Hall during the Edinburgh Festival, not knowing who it was, who they were, never heard of it before. And we're in the Queen's Hall sitting on the front row of the balcony and there was Whitburn Band conducted by Major Peter Pax and it was an experience that I'll never forget because the sound of the band was immense to what we were used to playing in the local band and the final piece they played with the Major was Procession to the Minster and the whole auditorium was shaken with the sound, the vast sound of the band and that always sticks in my memory. I've loved the band from that point and both Robert and Graham, my sons, said to us that we're going to play with that band one day. And I thought then, oh, okay, right. It's just like if your son plays football for the local junior team in the park, it's like, I'm going to play with Manchester United. Right, all right. And that's how I thought of it. But from that point on, there was a seed planted in the both of them, and it was a driving ambition to play with Whitburn. And ever since then, I've just, I've just loved the band. So moving on from that, when Graham did come to the band in 2002, what was it like to come to the first rehearsal and observe the band play? Well, first of all, Graham, Graham had to sit on audition to join the band, and he was only 16 at the time, so I had to drive him through. I sat in the Whitburn Old Band Hall car park for an hour or so, and he went out on his own. I don't know the players that were involved during the audition, uh, and he came out and he was jumping up and down, so I knew it was a good result. So we spoke to the, the chaps and we said, I, I can bring them through, it's not a problem. So twice a week we drove from Pennycook to Whitburn for rehearsals and you, you had to sit in the old band hall, there wasn't an area that the general public could sit. So you're, you're sitting basically amongst the band and it was just an absolute fantastic experience. It really was. It's hearing something that you've never heard before and your son being part of it and you knew it was something special what was going on. So you're not only an observer though, because you actually have a job in the band structure and that is the secretary. So how did you become the secretary? And for those who don't know, what is your job in the band? Well, I, I used to come through every rehearsal, never missed a rehearsal with Graham. And one of the committee during the time said to me, you're here all the time, so why don't you just join the committee and help do things? I, I, I was absolutely honored to accept the job. So I was a general committee member, then the position of secretary was offered to me. The secretary of the band is basically making sure that the band has all players signed and registered for contest day, making sure that my, my personal job that I think I like to do is I like to take the stress off the players on contest day. I make sure everything's okay for them, rehearsal, and uh, my wife, Elaine, she decided that the band on contest they really need to have a cup of tea so she takes it upon herself to pay for the entire band to have tea coffee sandwiches on contest day in scotland and it's just been a thing we do every year and i just like to think that the players can relax and do their job on the day which is play music to the high standard without having to worry about what's going in the background that's my job on contest day and I always make sure the band are fully equipped and ready to go on stage. And also on the contest day, you have to have the players signed, don't you? So you yes. have to give them a wee card and they sign their name and you're in charge of their cards, which is a very important job. Yes, from four, three or four weeks prior to the contest, I'm checking the cards two or three times a week. On contest week, they get checked three or four times a day. And on contest day, they get checked again. So I speak to the band manager, Charlie, and I make sure that the players are on the stage and the players exactly what I've got signed for the band. There isn't any issues, no leaks can go on. When I go to the registration table with Tom Allen and whoever else is doing it, I make sure these players are ready to play. It's very important if, if there's a mix up on registration, they possibly can't play and that's your, all the work of your professional conductor 
and the band down the Swanee River because I made a mistake, so it doesn't happen. I've been doing that now for 18 years as secretary and I've never had any issues at all. As you say, that 18 years is a long time to be doing the job and I'm now going to focus on one particular contest and that was in 2017 at the British Open in Birmingham Symphony Hall. The test piece was Fraternity. Uh, we have a photo here of you at the results ceremony. Um, the band did well that day, second. Mm -hmm. um, and can you tell us what was it like sitting on the stage at that results ceremony before they announced the results? And when they announced Whitburn in a second, what was it like? What do you remember of that moment? And is it your proudest moment as secretary? I remember that day well because when you go down to Birmingham in London uh, to represent the band, you're playing against the top bands in the world. Black Dykes, Brickhouse, Grimethorpe. Then they introduced Ford bands as well. So backstage area is very exciting. Everybody's talking about their performances. We, we basically know each other well. It's the same people at the back. So you go into the stage, you sit down, you don't know anything that's happening. And the, the announcer starts seeing the top six bands, place bands. So it goes from six, then you get four, five, four, your band's not mentioned three. I knew we had played well, but when you got down to three, I thought we'd been forgotten about. And when he said second quick one, this went right over my head. And the chap next to me nudged me, he goes, that's you. He goes, I just, I was like, wow, like somebody gave you a, a lottery ticket. So I stood up because I was absolutely, I was absolutely fully in motion. All the things went through my head, all the hard work the band does, we suddenly came to fruition that day. And it is the proudest moment I've had with the band. It was a fantastic performance. It went down well with the crowd. And just, the piece suited the band well. The players that we've got, the quality, and it just, happened on the day and the adjudicators were brave enough to make a decision. In fact, uh, on the stage there were three adjudicators. Uh, I went to collect my, my second prize and the adjudicator says, one of us had you first, one of us had you second. So we had to discuss and we decided it was second. So we had a winning adjudicating performance. Fantastic day. Yeah, it's uh, phenomenal to have days like that on what is one of the biggest contests in the band in Calder and it's such a phenomenal place to play as well, the Birmingham Symphony Hall. Over your time as secretary, now into 2021, what has it been like watching the band develop over the years? Is it something that you've just, is the standard constantly high or have you seen it dip and fall? Does it always progress? Have they reached new heights that you never thought were possible? What's it like watching the band over that length of time? The band's always kept a high standard, a very high standard, and it's due to the fact that we have fantastic solo players, players within the band, there's families in the band, we have a very, very close family unit within the band. The whole band to me is a family. I treat everybody as part of my family, and I love them all to bits. And the standard has been, over the years, been getting better and better. And since we've introduced Nick Childs to our, our band, our professional conductor, he has put the band on another level. We play fantastically well under Nick, and we've had other conductors as well. We've had, but Nick knows how to win a contest, and it really goes well with the band. And on contest day with Nick, everybody knows exactly what they're doing. There isn't a player walking on the stage thinking, should I do that or should? Everybody knows exactly what they're doing with Nick. And has the band completely relaxed, and when you walk on, and I remember the late, great Sam Knox saying to me when they played under the Major, that the Major said to them, this is not contest day, this is an exhibition. And that's what I feel like with Nick when we go on the stage. Absolutely. And before we finish, and I'm going to ask you to sum up Whitburn Band in a few sentences. I actually have a wee fact for you here from the band's historian and trustee, Gordon Simpson that the role of secretary has been around formally since around 1967. And according to him, and he knows, <laughs> that you are now the longest serving person to ever hold that role. All right, yeah. So how does that feel? And can you sum up Whitburn Band in a few sentences? Well, that's, that's, that's news to me and that's fantastic because I intend to do it as long as I can. Uh, I love working with, with Charlie and the other committee members. Whitburn Band, as I said, Whitburn Band to me is a family. 
you see how other bands are when you go to contest and we we are very very close as a band we have a fantastic thing going outside the band we have a great leisure time together we have fun times outside the band we all, we all love our rehearsals we have a fantastic facility at Whitmore Band Hall and it really is a pleasure and it's brought us brought me and Elaine my wife so much pleasure over the years that both my boys Robert and Graham are involved with this fantastic band. John Fraser, longest serving secretary of Whitburn Band, thank you very much.